Hi everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. Today we will talk about Node Shelf 2 and the recent update which you know confused many people because there's actually a logo change there. Quite significant. I mean the logo is still the same but it seems that blue is the new green. And what this means, we will dive into it now. Okay, maybe some of you recognized this little change happening there with the logo of Nochev 2. It switched from green to blue. And this is really strange. Look at the paperless movement logo. There's the green and there's the blue. So you could say green was nature, no turf was nature, and now it's more technology. It makes absolutely no sense, but I thought I want to mention this. So why is it blue now? It's because it's now version 5.0. In a paperless movement Facebook group, somebody mentioned already, why is it not called no turf 5 then? Well, I understand this question, especially because the logo is changing and everything. It is no new note-taking app. It's still the same note-taking app and that's the thing. But I was curious as well. Do you actually remember? There was just recently an app where a big logo change was announced and, you know, everybody was expecting some feature updates, but nothing happened. But I don't think that will be the case for Nochev 2. Nochev 2 was released in November 2017 and I made the very first review just after its release and I was complaining about this app because loads of features were missing. However, if you followed this channel and me, then you know that Nochev 2 is still my number one note-taking app, even with the release of GoodNotes 5. And the reason is, they added so many features in one year that they just became pole position before GoodNotes 4 for the things I need to use it. But that's also the reason why I designed the digital journal which many of you out there got from me already, especially for NodeShelf 2. It is compatible with GoodNotes 5, GoodNotes 4 and, and Notability and so on. However, it was designed for NodeShelf 2. And it is just the feeling of NodeShelf, the, the, the connection to the community. It's somehow just better than for other apps. I always have the feeling they are listening. I reached out to them and asking what is going on with this big update version 5.0 and the switch from green to blue. And the thing is, for them internally, they actually made a lot of changes and improvements in the app structure itself. So this means, like they already did with releasing of NodeShelf 2, which was necessary compared to NodeShelf 1, to be ready for future features adding there, they again improved NodeShelf 2 to be ready for future features they want to implement into this app. And this is what gets me really excited. Because if you, you know, if you see, oh, it's now blue, nice. And if you look at the release notes, you just see some new themes. And then they added, and that's actually a, a desired feature for the ebook readers out there. They added a table of contents for the PDF file. So if you import the PDF with a table of contents, you have this available now. That's it. That's all that is in the patch notes. And even if I go into the new app, yeah, they reworked the whole UI and some icons and so on. And well, you can argue about if it is better than it was before. I think that comes down to personal preferences. However, that's not it. And I believe them. There is more to come. I'm sure in 2019 they will be able to make me even more excited than I'm already about Nodeshelf 2. You know, I released this video about GoodNotes 5 and it has the potential. And it was the same thing with GoodNotes 4. They were on a limit. They couldn't improve it further because the basics of the app was already on the limit. So you, they couldn't add any further features. That's the reason why they released GoodNotes 5. And uh, many complain about missing features. And that's the same thing. They now adding additional features over time because they have now the 
foundation of the app where they can just implement better features. And now we have Node Shelf 2 and Good Notes 5 in the race and I will watch them very closely what they will release and especially how stable these uh, run and how user friendly they are. I still think the looks of Node Shelf 2 is just more up to date, it's just more modern. But again, that's my personal preference. So if you tested already the new update from NodeShelf 2, please let me know in the comments below what you think about this new update, what you're expecting in the future, and maybe you have some more information I don't know. Please share this with all of us. We are looking for it. So that's no in-depth review about the new update and so on. I was thinking about if I should show much more about it. But you know what? If you watch one of my recent videos about NodeShelf 2, I cover in there already everything. And that's the reason why I'm not going deep into details here. But I will follow this. I'm sure there will be a reason very soon where I go back into NodeShelf and show you all the new stuff and I actually have to update my ebook then. If you're new to this channel and you like this video, obviously give it a thumbs up, tell your friends that we are here and join the paperless movement because we are helping out each other going paperless, If you, especially if you go to the Facebook group paperless movement where you can ask questions and you will get answers usually within minutes. So it's really exciting to be there. Okay, that's for now and uh, thank you for watching and I see you next time.